welcome <laughs> to chair yoga. So we're gonna um, just sit in the chair for a few moments. Um, depending on the chair that you've got, uh, especially if it has rollers or something like that, you wanna make sure that it's secure and that you've got a little bit of room on either side of you so that we can do some um, work with standing balance. Otherwise, you should be fine. <laughs> um, even if you're doing this in a cubicle, you should be okay. So we're going I'm sitting on the chair um, in such a way that my feet are able to touch the floor, at least mostly. Um, so if you can do that, that would probably be for the best. And then letting your hands, you can rest them either on your legs or you can put one palm on top of the other and um, rest them together that way. And then you can cl close your eyes <laughs> and take a few moments and just uh, get centered. Mm. Just gonna mentally let go of the day for a moment, what's happened already, and then the things that we also have on our agenda for later, we're gonna let those go as well. And just spend a few moments moving the body and then breathing. And then stretching some tight places. So just do a few more breaths, just breathing a little more deeply and noticing the breath. gonna let our chin fall down toward our chest and sometimes I find myself leaning forward when I do that so just double check that you're not leaning forward and then see if you can let your head just kind of roll up and over one shoulder and then back to the center and then roll up and over the other shoulder and back to the center and I'm just gonna keep doing that about four more times over both shoulders. And while we're moving the body, just notice if there's places that feel extra tight. So we're gonna come back to those. Oh, let's do one more. Now when you get to the center, you're gonna just notice there's one side a little more than the other. So for me, the right side is almost always a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna stretch that side first and I'm just gonna move my head back and forth, feeling a stretch on the right side of my neck. And when I find a spot that feels like, mm, yeah, I wanna do that one a little longer, then I'm gonna let this arm drop out. Now if you never find that spot, you can just move back and forth um, over that side and that'll be fine too. Oh, I can feel one really tight spot right in here. Now I have a tendency again, it's not conscious, it's a subconscious thing that happens, but my shoulder like will lift up to try to help. So I'm just going to try to keep my opposite shoulder relaxed as I explore some tight places over here on the right side. And I might look and see if there's another one for about two more breaths. All right, now before I do anything else, I'm gonna bring my hand back. I'm just gonna let that shoulder lift a little bit. Then I'm gonna bring my head back to the center and pause for a moment and just feel. So for me, this um, right shoulder feels now a little bit lower, a little bit, um, just a little bit uh, more relaxed than the left. So I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna drop my chin. I'm gonna take my head over here to the right. And then I'm gonna explore just a little back and forth movement pattern. 
and see if there's a spot on my left side that oh, I could use a little extra help. And the left side's not as bad, so I'm just going to keep going back and forth like this. that for one more breath. Now you might need an extra breath, that's fine. Bring your hand when you're ready back to the center, back to your leg, and then you can oh, let the head come back into neutral. And then just feel the two shoulders, feel the sides of your neck. My neck can get really tight. So you're gonna lift your shoulders up as high as you can and let them fall. Lift them up as high as you can, let them fall. Two more, lift them up, oh, let them fall. Lift them up, oh, let them fall, good. All right, so we're gonna take one arm and we're just gonna make some big circles, about three big circles with that one arm. And then we're gonna go the other direction, about three big circles. And then we're gonna make more of a medium-sized circle and go the other direction. And then we're gonna make a teeny tiny circle. And go the other direction. And then shake that arm out. Oh. We'll do the other arm, nice big circles, about three, as big as you can make given the circumstances. And then the other direction. And then a medium sized circle. And the other direction. <laughs> and then we're going to make teeny tiny circles. And the other direction. And then shake that arm out. Oh. All right. So then we'll just circle the shoulder blades around. And in the other direction. Alrighty. Whew. Makes me yawn sometimes. Either that or it's the fact. <laughs> other everything else. All right. So we're gonna do some little cat cow shapes. So I'm gonna slide a little bit further forward on my chair, and we're gonna arch the back so that the breastbone reaches forward and the pelvis tilts forward and the shoulders go backwards. And then we're going to do the opposite shape. Shoulders are going to move forwards. The spine is going to go back. We're going to curl in and let the pelvis tilt backward. So just moving back and forth between those two points. Sit up nice and tall, and we're going to do a twisting motion, a little bit rapid, kind of back and forth. I like to refer to this as the washing machine. And then we're going to stop in one direction, pause right there, send the sit bones down, lift the breastbone up, and just see how far around oh, it'll let you twist. You can grab the outside or the inside of your leg, grab the outside of the chair if that's available. Ooh. Yep, okay, life is making me yawn today. <laughs> We're gonna take one more breath. And then we'll kind of rinse that out. Ooh. We're gonna go the other direction. So we'll take, oh, I'm twist going the opposite way. I'm not quite ready to twist all the way yet, so I'm going to pause for a moment. And then I'll twist just a little bit more. Pause for a moment. Twist a little bit more, and now it feels like I can make my full twist. And again, kind of sending the sit bones down, getting a little taller. Take a 
in one more breath. Release that shape. Okay. So I'm just going to let that sort of unwind for a moment. I move my rib cage side to side, back and forth. Oh. So we're going to need a little bit wider leg for this one. So we're going to do a little back and forth side, um, side stretchy. So we're going to go back and forth to either side, just stretching out our sides. Oh. And then again, some people refer to this move as the blown palm. <laughs> I guess the palm trees would have to be in a very um, erratic windstorm. Oh. So just back and forth, but I sort of get the image of kind of bending sideways the way palm trees sometimes do. Oh. Now we're gonna turn this into a side, pardon me, into a side angle pose. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pick a side. I'm gonna start with this side. And what I'm gonna do essentially is I'm just gonna turn a little bit so that I can extend this leg all the way up. Now you can keep the leg right where it was. You don't have to extend it. It just gives me a little bit of extra opportunity to open up the front of this hip. I might have to make a little bit of an adjustment on my chair as well. So I'm gonna extend that leg out so I can open that hip up a little bit and then stretch out on both edges there. That gives me a little bit of extra. In addition to this kind of side bending, I can also stretch the front of that hip out a little bit. We're going to take one more big breath here. Oh, I'll come back to the center. Same idea. Oh, I have a tiny, hello, <laughs> a tiny friend underneath there. So I'm going to take my, le or my arm over to the other side. I'm going to extend that leg out. I'm going to stretch out on that side. Oh. Two more breaths. And then we're going to come back around. <laughs> all right. So we've gotten all of that. Now, we just got to do a little bit more work for our legs and hips. And we'll be um, settled at least for all moving all the joints. The moving all the joints portion of our day. So we're going to pick up a leg. So it doesn't matter how um, you, which leg you start with. I'm going to try to hold on to it on the thigh and on my foot and rock it back and forth. Now this is a little bit challenging, this particular move and the couple of moves that are going to follow it. So what you can do instead is you can leave your leg on the ground and just move it back and forth so that the leg, um, this, this big bone moves in the hip socket. That's the most important part. This is a little bit more intense to turn it out like this. All right, so then if you can, you're gonna cross the leg over top. If that's not gonna work, you're gonna cross the leg in front, okay? So crossing the leg in some way, sitting up nice and tall, and then that might be enough, or we might hinge forward a little bit more, bringing the pelvis forward. It's gonna stretch this area of the outer hip out a little bit more. And so if I keep my foot flexed, that helps keep my knee steady. So you can try that as well. I'm going to take one more breath here. Now, if you can, you're just going to sort of slide your leg far enough over that you can make little circles with this ankle joint. And you can do this with your leg down lower too. Just make sure your ankle joint's got a little bit of free range of motion. Then we're gonna go the other direction with those circles. And then we're gonna point and flex. And this is the interesting part. So we're gonna to try to stretch the hamstrings out. So you can hold on to the back of the leg and do that. Or if it's available to you, you can hold on to your big toe and do it that way. Okay, so either way it's gonna work. We're just trying to stretch out the back of your leg. Oh, sit up tall if you can. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Take one more breath here. Good. And we're gonna let this leg go. We're gonna give that a little shimmy. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is gonna be the solid leg. This leg is gonna be the one that I pick up. 
And again, I'm either going to rock it like this or rock it down low. Then I'm going to place that leg up on top if I can, or in front if not. Sit up tall. That might be plenty. Maybe lean forward into it a little bit. And breathe. Two more breaths, yogis. Good, so we're gonna back off a little bit, slide the leg a little farther over, and then spin the ankle joint in some motions there. Sort of resembles a circle. <laughs> Might really be more of a flippy flappy kind of motion, but I'm doing my best to make a circle. How's that? And then go the other direction. We're going to point and flex that. All right, and again, we're going to do the hamstring stretch. So we might grab hold of the big toe or grab the back of your thigh if the big toe is way too much. See if you can stay tall. Let go of there. All right, so we got just left to do is just wrists. So now that we're no longer holding onto our leg, <laughs> we can do a little wrist action. So spin the wrists and then go the other direction. So similarly, it may not be a complete circle, but it's a circular shape. Okay, so then we're going to take the wrists and just kind of stretch them out, go in one direction. Stretch out your thumb if you can. And then do the opposite direction. And then do this first direction. Stretch out the thumb if you can. We just switched hands. Oh, and then stretch out the top of the wrist. Okay, let's give those guys a little jiggle. All right, so we've hit pretty much all of our joints. So we're gonna do a little bit of standing work um, with the chair. So to start with, we'll stand up and then we'll walk over to one side. And it doesn't really matter which side, just whichever one has the better kind of amount of space for you. We're gonna do downward facing dog. So I'm gonna put my hands on the chair. Now, my chair, it's better if I go for the seat, but for you, if the top of your chair isn't quite as high as mine, this, if the top of the chair might be better. So I'm gonna put my hands down on the bottom, on the seat part, and I'm gonna walk my hips back until I've got a nice long stretch through my upper body. So from the hips all the way to my fingertips, I'm just trying to make one really big angle. And you can walk your legs back more or forward more, depending on how the stretch feels to you. This is a great downward dog if you need to keep your head more even with your hips as well. Being able to do a little down dog here. Oh, it's a nice stretch for the shoulders. All right, so then we're going to walk forward enough that we mostly, if we're holding on to the edge of the chair here with one hand, that we mostly get that wrist um, under the shoulder, okay? So this is my left hand. I'm going to hold with my left hand. My right hand's going to go up in just a second, but before I get that far, I'm gonna take my right leg, oh, sorry. <laughs> I need to do the other leg. Left leg up, left hands on the chair, and then I'm gonna take the right arm up. So I can stretch between those two points. We want opposite leg and arm. And my hand is on this more solid part of the chair, which is why it's important. Good, so we're gonna keep stretching. Last one here. Beautiful, come on down. Now, while we're on this side of the chair, we're gonna do a balancing pose. So I'm gonna turn so that I have um, my leg right here against the side of the chair, and then I'm gonna bring the other leg into a tree, and I'm gonna hang on just long enough 
to get my foot settled and then I'm gonna let go. If you fall, catch with your foot, don't catch with your hand, okay? So we're gonna try to hold, but if you fall, catch with your foot. All right, let's try again. So stay below your knee or above it, but not right on it with your foot. Good, two more breaths. And then we're gonna bring the leg down. Nice job. We're gonna go around to the other side, do the same thing on the other side. So, this time my right hand is gonna be on the base. I'm gonna put my left arm up here for a second so I can get my right leg off the floor. And then I'm gonna take my left arm up. And stretch between those two points. Try not to knock over anything in your house. <laughs> Do one more breath. Nice. Hold the chair. Bring your leg down. And then we're going to come back up. Turn sideways. Now this side is the leg I'm going to stand on. So I'm going to bring the other leg into a tree. Let go of the chair. If you fall, catch with your foot. You can use the chair while you're getting yourself steady. But then try not to use it. It won't always be there for us. <laughs> so we want to build the strength. <laughs> Two more breaths. Good. Come on down. All right, we're going to do downward dog one more time while we're here. And then we'll do one more strength builder. Oh, so we're going to take ourselves back and oh. dog on the chair is one of my favorite poses. <laughs> mm. Or on the wall or on the kitchen counter. They're all pretty great. All right, we're going to come back to our chair. Now I'm going to turn my chair sideways for a second so that you'll be able to, hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm going to do. Let's see how that angle is. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll work. Okay. So what we're gonna try is some boat pose. And chairs make it a little more challenging to do the boat pose. So we're gonna scoot right to the edge of the chair so our sit bones are right on the edge. And then we're gonna lean back, lift the heart, and you're gonna see if you can float your legs up off the floor. <laughs> and lift up nice and tall. And we'll see if we can hold that boat pose. Oh. Two more breaths if we can do it. Good. Bring your legs down. We're going to take ourselves around so that we're sitting sideways on this chair. And we'll turn towards this chair back. We're going to put our arm. So in this case, my right arm is behind the back of the chair. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to turn towards my left and holding on to the back of the chair with my right arm. I'm going to give myself a little stretch right here in the front of my chest. So I'm trying to go that way with my torso, but my right arm is holding steady onto that chair. Hopefully that you can see. I'm overturning my head so that I'm kind of showing you the direction I'm trying to move in. But mostly I'm trying to do that right here. So I'm stretching the front of my arm out. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Giving that arm a little stretch. Okay, last breath here. Maybe you need a couple extra. And we're going to release. Now I've got to turn all the way around to do the other side, but hopefully you'll still understand what's going on. So I'm just going to spin 180 degrees. Again, I'm going to put this arm here, and I need to get close enough that I can really grab hold. And then I'm going to turn away. So my elbow is helping to secure me. And then I'm trying to turn my rib cage here that direction so that I'm feeling the pull on the front of my shoulder. So this is a great way to get to my pectoralis minor and my um, anterior deltoid. These are not muscles that necessarily want to stretch because <laughs> they're
they're small, they're very strong, and they tend to be a little bit resistant, but we're going to do our best, yogis. Okay, last big breath, maybe two more. Oh, and then we'll release that pressure. Bring the arm around. Oh, give yourself a little bit of movement. And then we have a few moments to do just a little meditation. So you can do this sitting in your chair in any way that makes sense. I'm going to let myself just sit in the chair the normal way. <laughs> rather than sideways. And I'm going to take a few moments just to close my eyes, place my hands somewhere comfortable. Now meditation is, um, like sometimes we think about it as the, we're supposed to blank, clear our mind or make our mind blank, but that doesn't really happen for most of us. And there's a lot of different thoughts and lots of different ideas about meditation if you go back through um, <laughs> 2,000 years worth of ideas about meditation or more, um, but there's a lot of different possibilities. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the exhale, okay? So we're going to take a big inhale, and then we're going to focus on letting the exhale come out nice and slow and long, and in a minute we're going to count it, but first we're just going to try to get a pattern. So inhale and exhale out slow. Now we're gonna try to do a two for one count. So we're gonna try to count four on the inhale, like this, inhaling one, two, three, Four, that's all the way to the tippy top, and then we're going to try to exhale for eight. Exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze your belly button in all the way. Get all the air out. One. Okay. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, get really hollow, one, okay? Just do that with your own count. One more of those counts. Then drop the technique. And let your body go back to a natural breath rhythm. what happened. Now, for me, allowing myself to focus on or extend the exhale out makes the breath a little bit have a calming breath and it centered anytime I pay any attention to the breath really it centers my mind but I like the sort of calming aspect of focusing on the exhale um, now that's what it does for me so the question you have to ask yourself is is that what happened or <laughs> did I experience it differently 
because then you'll find breath practices that work really well for you in times of stress or anxiety that you can use to help calm yourself um, or you know that you can use to help yourself go to sleep or anything really along that line so we're gonna take a nice big breath together because our half an hour is ended here um, but you can take this um, if you have some time you can take a few moments and relax on your back on the floor or put your legs up over the end of the chair and lay down on your back um, and get a little inversion practice in today um, or maybe it's just time to go get some lunch and go back to work so take a nice big breath with me let go with a big sigh <sighs> and then enjoy the rest of your day namaste yogis thanks for participating in the chair yoga with me today have a great rest of your day life week <laughs> all of the above <laughs>